Hey y'all, it is the height of summer here in Texas. Hot days and pretty much constantly needing an ice cold drink. But it also means continuing to take advantage of all the veggies in season. Tomatoes, zucchini, and even lettuce. Most lettuce is actually pretty nutrient poor. It's basically just crunchy water. But you're gonna use romaine, which has a little bit more nutrition. This week your recipes include eggs in a tomato sauce, steamed mussels over pureed roasted celery root, chicken thighs with roasted zucchini and onions in a marinara sauce, lamb with eggplants, cauliflower hummus, and Moroccan spices, and roasted lettuce with a lemon dressing. Let's get prepping. Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a cauliflower hummus. Uh, I came up with this recipe because my husband wanted hummus and um, I figured out that I wanted to make a version of it that didn't include chickpeas. Um, you know, chickpeas aren't bad from time to time, but not something we wanna necessarily eat regularly. And you know, a lot of people are always asking for good snack ideas. Well, the thing with this is if you make some hummus and keep it in the fridge, you can then use it with uh, carrots or celery or um, I don't know, cucumber or whatever you like and have a kind of snack. So it's pretty simple. It's, you're gonna start with the basic roasting technique. So heat the oven to 425, line a baking sheet in foil. Then you're gonna spread the cauliflower and garlic out on that sheet, drizzle with a little olive oil, sprinkle of salt. Toss it in the oven and roast for 20 minutes. You could go a little longer with this if you wanted to, your preference. Then when it's done roasting, you're gonna take it out, let it cool a little bit. Throw it in the food processor with a little tahini, some lemon juice, a little bit more salt, a little bit of olive oil if you need to to thin it out. Throw some paprika in there. Smoked paprika in this would be awesome, but regular will do if you have it, if that's all you have rather. Blend it all up to the consistency and texture you like. You can add more olive oil to thin it out a little bit. Taste it, add a little more tahini, a little more lemon juice if you need, but otherwise it's kind of, you know, you play with it till you find the flavor you like. Then put it in a jar or container, store it in the fridge and you're good to go. So. This is a really great recipe um, for all of that. And uh, yeah, let's get cooking. Thank you. 